Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Char on this lovely Saturday. I pray and hope that everything is well in your neck of the woods. I know you guys have not seen me in like forever sitting here right here in this very spot. But today I am so excited. I come to you for a long awaited Pioneer Woman haul. And this haul would have been done a long time ago. It's one item that kept selling out, out of stock and I finally got it. And so it arrived last week and I said, you know what, let me get this together. Go ahead on and do this Pioneer Woman haul. So I'm not even going to sit up here and make y'all wait too long by talking. One thing I do want to say is that I pray and hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And that as we're going through this pandemic, I pray and hope you all are getting everything you need. Those of you, if you're sick, I'm praying for your healing. Those of you who are laid off, I'm praying that God provide. And those of you who are doing well, I'm praying that you are being a blessing to others. Okay, so let's get to this. Um, Pioneer Woman Hall, y'all. I'm so excited. So we're going to get the real heavy stuff out of the way first. Okay, let me get the paper out of here, y'all. See, I'm still unraveling stuff. So first off, we have here, and I'm going to show you up real close. Y'all know how to do the camera. So that is, and this is stoneware, and it is so heavy. And I'm going to open up so that this is the top. Okay, and I'm going to open up and show you each piece here. Y'all, this thing is so heavy. And these are containers. See, I still got to get these off. These are containers that um, I absolutely love. When I saw them on the website, I said, because oh, I'm always storing food, or you can use this if you're going traveling with food, whatever. So, yes, yeah, so this is the small one. Okay, you guys. And that's what that looks like. And the tops. Okay, so you see how easy it is to open. It's got the little rubber around the side. And then you just pump it, I believe. Get the air out a little bit. And then you close that. And it's not as easy to take off. You see that? Y'all see me going up? But if I were to release that, look how easy it is. So it sucks in the air and it really holds it really good. So that's the small one. This one, I'm going to show them with the camera. This one is the medium one. I absolutely love this print. I believe she has a new um, plate set that has this beautiful print. It is so pretty and just gorgeous, y'all. And this is stoneware. Stoneware. Look how thick that is. So I will show you up close what that looks like. Okay. So then this one, as you can see, the top, I showed you that earlier. And it's the same thing. You pump the air and then you close and that just really holds that top love it and then this is the big one and these are the rectangle ones i did get the circle ones as well you guys so this one oh absolutely love it the flowers are the same all the way around isn't that pretty just gorgeous i absolutely love it and it is so heavy now i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you this is stoneware and it is really really heavy and all three of them come with the top they do nestle however when you do put them together they um it's hard to close the very top so let's do this up really close you guys so stay tuned okay so this is the top as you can see you just press that pump that and then that's the top look at the edges i love how thick that is let me get that out of here I love how thick that is and this is the design is that not beautiful and it's got the rubber around the edges and then this one is the medium one and I don't even have to open it y'all because you know what the inside look like but that is what the design this is what the design looks like on the medium one okay look how pretty those flowers are we have it on that side this side and then that side which is all the same and then this one is the smaller one and I just love I just love the print on the smaller one it's so pretty Isn't that lovely absolutely love it okay so that is the medium so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go for the round because absolutely love I love my containers so like I said you can nestle them, nestle them but as you can see this top is not closing so 
I don't know how to go about doing that. Maybe it's because other stuff is in here. I'll see if they can nestle later. But anyway, this is the the round top. It's got the rubber around the edges. And we're going to start by, start by taking them out to y'all. So let's start with the little one. These are so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. It's got that round with the pump and then seal. Okay. So that is that one. The next one is the medium one. That is so pretty. Still has that in the inside, but yes. This is the medium. You guys see that beautiful print on the medium, and that is all the way around. And then we have this one, and I love this one because it has the bluebird on it. As y'all can see, the bluebird. Okay. And then that is... The bluebird is on the front and the back, and then the rounds are just the flowers. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like up close as well, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's go for the round. We're going to start with the big one. So that's that pretty bluebird on there. Isn't that gorgeous? This is so pretty to pull out for the summer. I love it. I think it'll be absolutely beautiful to put on a 4th of July, Memorial Day, or even 4th of July table um, setting because of the beautiful um, red, white, and blue. You got a little bit of yellow in there. And then just the red outline. It's just really beautiful container. And it is very heavy. This is also stoneware. This one is the medium one, as you can see. It's beautiful flowers so pretty and then we have the smaller one here really really pretty and this one has a yellow um, edge as you can see there this one has red and let's see what the little one has yes the little one has blue it's very important that I show y'all that I'm glad I took that out okay so that is the blue the red and the yellow okay now next up what I'm gonna show you guys um on my last pioneer woman haul I showed you a big beautiful platter and it was the rectangular one I forgot what it was but I'll try to link it below if I can still link it if not I'll put it in the description the link in the description so you can see what I'm talking about but there was a blue set that I absolutely love that I thought would be really really pretty for breakfast but anyway this is the butter dish and the gravy boat um that goes with it so i'm going to show you guys up close i absolutely adore this butter dish just look at the flowers on this butter dish it is so pretty and then that beautiful jeweled handle you guys see that and it's just gorgeous all the way around and i'm going to show you up close of course but let me just show you what that looks like and even if you're not using the top part of this and you're hosting, you can even put um, crackers on here, whichever little cheese is layered cheese, whatever. Or you could just use it as what it's supposed to be used for, which is for the butter dish. So I'm going to show you that up close. Just stay tuned. Um, this is the next one. This is the gravy boat. Is that not a beautiful boat? Look at the handle on that. So pretty. The footing... I just absolutely love and the blue flowers and just the fact that it's just like that bone color it is so pretty so let me show you up close what it looks like okay all right so this is the handle you guys see how pretty that handle is and the footing on that and look at those flowers and then just the decorations around that I just love the floral is just so pretty the next thing up close is this beautiful butter dish okay can you see what i'm talking about do you see what i'm talking about look at the flowers in this butter dish and the beautiful handle it just reminds you of something your grandmother will pass down to you i really thought she did good on this design and i just love the beautiful etched the decorations in there um the pretty border it's just so beautiful and that handle is a good grip it's not a hard handle to grab look at that good good grip and then I love the fact that she added that little bit of brass with the leafing around there if that would you yeah with the leafing and then that brass that is just so pretty y'all isn't that gorgeous absolutely love it so that is her butter dish and her gravy boat there we go butter dish and gravy boat 
<clears throat> really cute together okay so I'm gonna pass that on to mom and the next thing we're gonna do something light here okay so this is something that I have been seeing for a very long time and just never grabbed it and I said you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get it before it's gone because it was like two left and that is her table runner I love this little I, I love the um, vintage floral and so the table runner just looks so pretty isn't that pretty so that's what that looks like up close and I will show you up close what that looks like okay so this is the table runner that's the table runner up close and these are the pretty designs and that is the pretty flowers on it and then this one now I don't know if it's reversible but really really pretty that's the back of it does it say it's reversible oh it is reversible there we go reversible so two gifts in one honey so yes we have that one on that side oh and then on the other side it shows the reverse side okay so that is this print all right okay so that is the table runner that i think is so cute it's so darling it's just country and just really really cute and uh, I just think it's adorable. Okay, so this is what I love. Summer, 4th of July, bright colors. Um, I've never been really one that likes a lot of bright colors. But colors really do. I mean, I do love colors. But y'all know, never the reds. I wasn't a real big red person in, in my life. And, and still would monitor the amount of red that's around me. But I think anytime summer is here, I love a little bit of red in the kitchen and of course Christmas we love red as well but these are her beautiful um, these are her kitchen towels and her mini mitts you guys how cute is this set adorable love the checkers um, look at that border on that just absolutely love it and it's got a good grip it's got that plastic that will make sure nothing slips out of your hand that rubber not rubber but that rubber feel here absolutely love it. and these things are super duper thick you guys these are her towels aren't they pretty absolutely love it and this first one is the sweet rose so what we're going to do i'm going to show you guys I'm going to cut these off because I'm going to be using this this summer, honey. Okay. These are so, they're so cute. When I saw it, I said, oh my gosh, these are so perfect for summer. But look at the beautiful flowers. Oh, nice grip. I love that. Okay, so like, I feel like a puppet, but like I'm doing puppets. But look at that. Isn't that adorable? Hello. Look at that. It covers my whole hand. And I love the border on these, the red and white border. Look at those beautiful flowers. And then you flip it. That is so pretty. Absolutely love it. And this is all like a rubber, you guys. It's got such, as you can see, the shine. It has such a good feel. These are super duper thick. I'm telling you, these will take you a long way. And so we're going to see which ones, what set of towels are all in here, okay? So let me open these towels. Okay, so this is her first towel. And just look at that. And look how big these towels are. Y'all, look how big that is. That is a beautiful big towel. And it has like that terry cloth on one end. Okay. Yes, that is so pretty. Absolutely love that. Really dry dishes, really good. Then we have this blue one. Love, 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 love. And you see the print on that one and it's got that terry cloth feel that really dries up those dishes I can't stand a towel that is slippery and it doesn't have that terry cloth like it's really sucking up the um water okay and this is the red and white I'm gonna show you guys these up close because when I get closer it gets darker I'm noticing that all right and then last but not least these are so pretty look at that blue isn't that pretty okay so let's get it up close you guys so stay tuned. Isn't that pretty? That is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the size of the towels just in case you want to know what size the towels are. Okay? That's the, um, oh no, that's the mini mitts. So that's the size of the mini mitts. I will let you know what size. This is the kitchen towel set. Okay? And that is the size at the bottom. All right? That's seven by, let me see if you guys can see that. There we go. Okay, and so this one is, oh, this red and white one is so 
Americana. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And then let you guys see what it looks like when I said terry cloth. See how that suck up all that water when you're drying them dishes, honey? It won't be slipping and sliding. I can't stand that. I want you guys to see the difference between the two blue towels. Okay, so that's one blue. And this is the other blue. And they're both absolutely adorable. Okay? And then last but not least, this absolutely beautiful floral design. I absolutely love it. That is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one matches the mitts. Okay? There we go. And for you to see, see that how that's like rubbery? It's like pretty rose rubbery. And then that's what one side of the mitt looks like the other side and then the border and y'all look how thick that mitt is honey 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 and I love that it has that little puppet feel your thumb that you can just grab and go child I really do love it and so that's what that looks like and these are both identical okay all right okay so that is the dish towels um, the kitchen towels and the beautiful mitts y'all too cute right and then we already got that okay so what I'm gonna show you now are these cute little sauce dip little dip dishes or you can use them when you're doing a recipe put your seasonings in whatever but they're so adorable this comes in a set of four but I only saw these two left and actually these two are the, my favorite ones I did not see the other ones so that's what they look like and I will show you up close and I did see this cute little white one and it has like a 3d feel to it okay so let me show you guys this up close so that is the one that has like that beautiful it's like a milk glass almost with the 3d feel to it so cute all right and then this one is that that cute and then this one is just beautiful flowers all the way around and that is like a blue color this is like a green okay and then this one is just your plain white all right okay so back in one of my um hauls i got the onion keeper and i got the garlic keeper i did not get the potato keeper god are you guys got the potato keeper and i'm so excited and you know i examined her i opened her up and examined her everything is great listen to my mother <laughs> everything is great and i'm so excited so i have the entire set i have the garlic the onion and the potato keeper it's just such a pretty set to keep for decades it's just so pretty and and, and it keeps your house clean and, and you know onion garlic and potatoes they need to be in their own spot and i love the fact that the color is really pretty and i just love the fact that it has those holes so that it airs out your um, onions your garlic and your potatoes i love that but y'all i was so excited i cannot believe i ordered the wrong one Went in, last one left. Okay, so let me show this up close for those of you who have never seen the potato keeper. So look how pretty that potato keeper is. And the beautiful flowers. Okay, and it's a pretty big, it's pretty big. Okay, and then that's what it looks like in the inside. Last, there's two more family items. I got a family item and then one more item, y'all. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So the next thing we have here these are so adorable and I'm just so happy I was contemplating on do I want them do I not do I want them but I'm always cooking chili baking something uh, I think they're adorable year-round but they're really cute for summer they're good to give um, host for a, a dinner party a little get-together a cute little gathering or if you just want to treat yourself because I always say treat yourself to something nice why can't we eat when you set, set your table setting for yourself make it pretty drink out of something nice wipe your mouth with something nice have a pretty plate if you just have one child have a pretty cup whatever just make you feel when you sit down and you eat it makes you feel good right yes okay so you guys and then eating make you feel good anyway <laughs> but i ain't gonna go there all right you guys so look aren't they adorable these are the bakers are they bakers? I forgot what they're called. You guys, I forgot what they are, they're called, but I will look them up and have the link below. But look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love that it has handles and that etch, the, the lifted, beautiful lifted um, design. It's 3D. You can fill it. Let me hold this. Absolutely love the top. Isn't that pretty? It's the mini casserole baker set. Okay, you guys, these are so 
absolutely adorable. So that's the blue one. And I'm going to show you this other one. It's like a, blue, like a darker blue. I don't want you guys to get it confused. But you see that this one's a lighter blue. And this one's a darker blue. Absolutely adorable with these handles. I cannot stand it. And the cute little top. And you have to be careful with these two. But of course, if you're hosting and giving, you won't have the rubber. Because that's just, it is smell. And so this, just be careful when you're um, using these. But these are so cute. And your guests can have like peach cobbler in here. A blueberry cobbler. A strawberry rhubarb. Um, apple pie. It's pretty deep. So I don't know if they want to eat that much. But this chili will be perfect in here. Just so many macaroni and cheese. Absolutely adorable. And I just absolutely love it yes I do and y'all she has been feeling yellow yellow has been really on my mind everywhere I look now I'm just like oh my gosh yellow I don't know if it's spring because it's spring right now but don't go to sleep on yellow yellow is absolutely a beautiful color I love yellow isn't that gorgeous and you can really see the design around the um, little um, beautiful baker and those handles and then I'm going to show you each one has a different design at the top isn't that cute and I'm going to show you up close of course and then this one is just really really pretty it's just a red one that is so adorable okay it has the same design um, the little edge is just a different color so that's what that looks like and so let's show you up close all right, you guys, so that's all four of them here, and I'm gonna show you each design up close. So this one is that one. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So cute, and I love the little handle. And as you can see, that grip is really good. That's what I love about it. It's got a nice little grip. Okay, and so this one is the next one. Okay, and that's what that design looks like in the front. I mean, on the top, and then this one, is that pretty very pretty yellow okay so beautiful isn't that pretty and then this one is the other blue one and i absolutely love it with that pretty red rose at the top and i think she has a dish set that has this design as well so as you can see let me put the two blues next to each other so you can see the different in the blues okay there we go. And I will put the information below the link so you can see what size these uh, little bakers are. But they're absolutely adorable. All right. The last thing that I have here, y'all, it took me forever to get this. But ever since this situation has been happening in our country, I was thinking, what other way can I do things from home where I can, like, maybe start canning i'm now looking at canning because my grandmother used to do a lot of canning and then i was like you know what i'm into wanting to make some bread so y'all i looked up online and i knew that the pioneer woman had been seeing it for i don't know how long that she does um her um that she put out a bread machine with the hamilton beach um company they collaborated and did this bread machine so i looked online out of stock y'all it was out of stock for like three weeks straight and then one day I woke up early in the morning. I just said, let me just see. And it was in stock. Y'all know she jumped to it so quick. And I got it. And I'm just so excited. And I'm going to hold it up. It's not that heavy. But it's really pretty. It's that blue um, uh, design. Y'all know which one. And this is the pretty Fiona Floral. It's in Fiona Floral. As the same as my coffee machine, which I'm absolutely in love with. But y'all, this is so pretty. It's just really pretty. They have a lot of bread machines that are plain bread machines, which I don't mind the stainless steel. But it's nice when you can have one that's got really pretty colors. This is not a match of what my kitchen, but right now my kitchen's everywhere because that's not the kitchen I'm going to be. My, like my, what is they, what do they call that? The my forever home <laughs> kitchen so it doesn't matter but anyway i'm so excited about having this bread machine and finally getting it it is so pretty and that fiona floral is absolutely gorgeous and it has really good reviews you guys and so i haven't even opened this up yet but they have a lot of um i think recipes in here hold on let me see where they show you how to use it hold on artesian troubleshooting recipe yes she has a lot of recipes well not a lot but she has some recipes in here 
Oh, she's got one for French bread, gluten free. So I'll show you that up close, but let's get to looking at this machine, okay? And that is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? Absolutely beautiful. So that is the front of the bread machine, right? And that is by Hamilton Beach and Pioneer Woman. And this is everything that it does here. I have never made bread in my life, but I'm looking forward to showing you guys how this performs. Some of you have bread makers and you already know how to use it, but this is the option. Basic French gluten-free whole grain, 1.5 pound express, two pound express, quick bread, sweet dough, cake, jam, rise, bake, and artisan dough. And I just thought that was amazing. And so I have to learn more about it, but I will be making some bread soon and I'm really excited about it. And we're going to, I'm going to show you guys my first loaf. So I'm just so happy. I finally got it. It took forever. You guys, I just said, Lord, if it's meant for me to have it, you will bring it back. And he did. This is it right here. The Pioneer Woman Hamilton Beach, Hamilton Beach by Hamilton Beach. And let me just show you how they give you the timetable cycle tips for bread basic. They give you all that information. I'm gonna get some bread books that you can, that, um, I'm gonna get some books that specifically use the bread machine uh, for making bread. So anyway, these are basic recipes here. It says recipe for French. This one's gluten free. Um, it has like, um, this one is the whole grain there. And then the they go by pounds. And I love that and I just cannot wait. So I'm so excited for this beautiful bread machine. Isn't it lovely? So pretty. So it has a window. So as it is doing its thing, you can see the window and I guess this is some steam release area back here. And then as you can open it, that's what that looks like there. And as you can see, this is the container. This is the little basket. I don't know how to lift that out yet, y'all. I'm still learning. But that is the basket. I guess you lift that out. And then this one says unlock and then lock. And it's just really well built, y'all. I'm just so excited about it. Oh, and what's in the inside? And the inside is like all of this little extra stuff that I guess you need. Is there anything else? I'm sitting down, y'all. Yeah, all this little extra stuff that I guess you need. That was, that's what comes in the inside, okay? And so... There we have it. I cannot wait to show you guys my first loaf. So stay tuned for that. And I also need to show you guys because I have the Pioneer Woman. Um, uh, what is that called? I have the Pioneer Woman food processor, the real big one. And I have not showed you guys that. So I need to show you that as well. All right, you guys. One more thing I forgot to add to the haul. How can I forget this? I um, bought these um, over two years ago the 10 inch plates and I these kept selling out the salad plates and I finally got them in and I just wanted to show you guys so they they I do have the 10 inch and the pitcher but now I have the salad plates and I got those in a set of four and I'm so happy that I finally got them they're so pretty aren't they beautiful look at that look at the beautiful edge I love that's what I love about this plate so much is the edge the beautiful edge i hope you guys enjoyed this pioneer woman haul with me journey with char and if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see please hit that subscribe button button i really would appreciate it also hit that notification bell because every time i upload a new video it will alert you that journey with char has just uploaded a video also please leave a comment below introduce yourself i love to say hi and let me know what did you like in this Pioneer Woman video. I do have others. If you love the Pioneer Woman, um, you will see the links below. And also just look over my videos. You'll see a lot of other videos and things to do. I love doing hauls and cooking videos and lifestyle, but it's going to even be more different as time goes. You guys just hang in there, bear with me. But 
Uh, yeah, this is just where we are right now. So I just want to say thank you so much for being so faithful, being kind. Thank you so much for being loyal. Those of you, I truly do appreciate so many of you in your words and your encouragement and your um, motivation. You are just such a blessing to me more than you know. And I thank you so much for your friendship and the relationships that are growing between you and me. And I truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much for being so faithful. And those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. So thank you. Put the comments below. And you guys, I pray everything is blessed in your neck of the woods. I pray that you're getting everything that you need and that you're trusting God along the way. Because remember, trust God. Keep him first. And he'll always lead you in the right direction. Thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Shar. You guys be blessed. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.